Happy Christopher Columbus Day. It is an excellent day to celebrate Christopher Columbus. And without Christopher Columbus, we wouldn't have had, ha, we wouldn't have had the, um, the British coming over here and making America. Thank you, British. Even though we had to fight you to um, become independent. Independent. Not independent. But... I want to talk about the trashy nastiness that's going on over in um, the liberal world. I'm going to hand Joelle a bunch of pictures of fake blood, really red paint, splattered over Christopher Columbus type of statues and tagging and mess. So if you join into that, you're part of them. So if you join in the hatred of Christopher Columbus, he dead, but... But he did a good thing, I think. Then, um, yeah, it's Christopher Columbus Day. He, Christopher Columbus landed in, in the Americas in 1492. And he came on the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. I don't know which one he was on, maybe the Santa Maria. There's a picture of him I'm showing if you're watching the video. Streaming live on Jesse's channels, YouTube, dlive.tv slash Jesse Lee Peterson. Mixer.com slash JLP Talk and Periscope.tv slash JLP Talk. This is a posthumous portrait of Christopher Columbus by Sebastiano del Piombo, 1519. Wow. There are no known authentic portraits of Columbus. So he's assuming this is how he looked. Interesting. Um, and the haters do hate. And I will get to your calls. You guys can call in 888-775-3773. The lines are full right now. So I will get to you guys. Appreciate it. But I just wanted to give a little bit of my take on the Christopher Columbus Day. On Columbus Day. Because they've been under attack. All the good people are under attack. All the greatest founders and people are under attack by the um, liberals. And then there are some people that may not be the best that are under attack too that are but think look at the people attacking them they're evil people they support abortion they support um, communism they're communists they hate America they're the types that are like the Antifa people that say no borders no walls no USA at all that's like a world nationwide maybe even a worldwide Antifa slogan and they repeated it at the straight pride rally that Jesse and others and I attended up in Fresno, California, I believe. That area, anyways. And so, it's, they're nasty people. I have some pictures of, like, other portraits of Christopher Columbus and other paintings. He's been a long celebrated person. And like I said, he sailed for Spain. So you see these Catholics, I'm showing you a painting, or Joel is showing it to you guys, a painting of like this Catholic guy and Christopher Columbus supposedly and others coming onto the land and then all these Indians um, coming up to meet them or look at them and wonder what they're talking about and doing. He spread Christianity and they hate Christianity too. They're anti-Christian people, the people that are attacking Christopher Columbus today. And that's kind of a communist thing to do, is to go outside your area of expertise, because nowadays nobody really knows the history. Even the historians were taught liberal versions of history, because they've invaded the... Um, the communists have invaded the academia, the media, and the expertise areas. And it just brainwashes the people into thinking, oh, this is an authority, so I have to believe them. They're historians. This is real history. But you don't know what the truth is. And so they accuse him of 
so I actually, I don't see if you can find those. I put those pictures in the folder, Joel. And I'm showing Men's History Month. I'm wearing my Men's History Month t-shirt today. Men's History Month is actually August. Thank you, Jesse. But, hey, Christopher Columbus is a good part of um, men's history. Uh, yeah, the bloodied statues. Christopher Columbus' blood, or something like that. I put, in a, I put a, fold, a new folder in there. I just want to show you guys how nasty and filthy these people are. They're um, vandals. <laughs> Didn't the Vandals take- take down Rome? I don't know. The Vandals were like a- an aspect of- of the people that took down Rome, I think. But I'm showing you... statues of Christopher Columbus. And they put like a tomahawk- an Indian tomahawk on his head, like as if an Indian had killed him. Blood on his hands because he supposedly has blood on his hands. They just painted his hands red. They're just- Evil people, hash, uh, they put Black Lives Matter on the base of this statue. I think it's a Christopher Columbus statue. They put rape on this sta- on that base of another statue in red spray paint. Bl- uh, they put this red all over his head and top of his body and the base of the statue. Disgusting people. Evil. There is another one on Wikipedia. Yeah, they put ha- they put genocide and red paint all over another statue. It's everywhere. 510 years resistance. And what's funny is, like, these people wouldn't even exist without him. Because a lot of people were created- were created from a mixture of Spanish people and Indian people. Hate will not be tolerated. Yeah, <laughs> you're the haters. <laughs> they, they, they painted on the base of this statue. Hate will not be tolerated. Hashtag something something. Is that what it says? Something's coming? Something is coming? Yeah. yeah. And painted his hands red. Evil people, and I bet you a lot of them are college educated or educated in some way. Which is to be, they're not actually educated, because if they were truly educated, that would bring out the best in them, but they're not. They're, they're, the worst is coming out of them. So that means they're indoctrinated, they're brainwashed. They hate, they're full of hate. And they're misdirecting their hatred. Right, it's always misdirected, right? But they're misdirecting their hatred towards well, the whites, like Jesse says. And Christopher Columbus, you know, he was Italian, and he sailed for Spain. Are those people white? I don't know. Let's just call them at least 30% white, right? <laughs> um, show the one where they knocked down the statue. They've been knocking down statues of white people, too. Silent Sam went down a couple years ago. That one is inside the main folder. Um, the one about Christopher Columbus Day. Um, it's crazy. There's a couple of pictures that you'll see. Cycle through those. Let's just finish this up real fast. Um, just... You see it? No, no, no. no, look at that. No, no, I'm talking about the Christopher Columbus Day. But you're, but show, okay, show the one before that. That's the, you're looking at the Google thing. Because I looked on Google, because Google famously has like a daily fancy little, little image that they put to celebrate whatever is significant about this day. Right? So they put, what did they do? They didn't celebrate Christopher Columbus Day. They celebrate this guy, Joseph Antoine, or Anto- Ant- Antoine? <laughs> Ferdinand Plateau's 218th birthday. He's dead. So is Christopher Columbus. But Christopher Columbus predates him, actually. But this guy was an, um, a physicist. He kind of invented the moving image, I guess, or something like that. So Google is not celebrating, be- of course, predictably, because Google is hashtag woke, which means asleep. Because woke isn't even the right word for it. If you were really awake, then you'd call it awake. Here is a picture of Columbus Day from 18, the 1800s, 1840, 1880, something like that. You can see the people down below. And you can see the... Zoom in on that a little bit. You can see a 
uh, like it looks like a portrait of Christopher Columbus up above, like in a church or a building or something. And then people down below. There's Christopher Columbus, presumably, on a beautiful building. And then the, and then the beautiful people, presumably in America. I forget where. Maybe in Massachusetts or somewhere. No tagging there. They weren't trash people. I mean, I'm sure there were trash people back then, too. Show... Yeah, look through the, that folder, though, Joel. I don't see any solid statues in there. No, you'll see a statue with no stat... You'll see a base of a statue with no statue on it. Yeah, there it is. Statueless plinth in Caracas. Caracas is... I forget where. In 2006. A statue by the 19th century sculpture. Wow, 1800s. De La Cova, which formerly occupied the plinth, was knocked down by activists, read that as radicals, communists, after a quote-unquote public trial during the celebrations of the newly instituted Day of the Indigenous Resistance, October 12th in 2004. So that's, that's just an example of the evil people. Just thought I would show you that to you guys. So if you're going to join in and say, oh, he was, a, he was a bad sailor, like Charles did um, on the Jesse Lee Peterson show. He was a bad sailor, and James is immature and childish <laughs> and a bigot. <laughs> um, then that's the type of people that you're listening to, siding with. They're like ISIS tearing down the Christian statues and stuff. They're evil. Really nasty. Anyways, let me get to some callers. Samuel, out of Sweden. How are you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> nice to hear from you. Yes, uh, I always want to uh, call in and uh, talk about my experiences uh, to- seeing the people that really exist doesn't exist. Okay. Uh, Why, how did that come up to people? Well, because I had been co- I become more open about uh, about speaking, about what I think about things. All right. And one part of that is to, you know, you generalize about people and yeah. uh, generalize people because of race and ethnicity. And they, I mean, so comes up more. And when they mention racist, I immediately say that racist doesn't exist. Nice. And then <laughs> that things happen. Uh, some laugh. You know, uh, uh, I know a kind of macho man. He started to laugh and actually thought it was funny, but of course he did think racism does exist. Yeah. A woman, she got really mad. She like, racism <laughs> does exist, and was very upset that I did it. And another person, he, he was like, he, he had never even thought that. I mean, he was almost silent. And like, he started to think about it. Wow, and that's nice. Actually, you know, I, I, I was actually, I had a conversation with one, and I, I was actually called a racist. And right. Said, well, racist doesn't exist. So I thought to ask, what is it that I say that you think is racist? And it, 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 uh, what I found out was that because I had uh, opinions about uh, how different uh, people, groups behave, I was a racist. But uh, in the end... I mean, we, I come to the conclusion that we all have different opinions about people. So, I mean, in the, I mean, the people that say that um, you know can't like to call other people racist, they themselves have all these uh, um, um, ideas about groups and how yeah. what they are. Judgment. Yep. So, uh, they do. Are these I, are these white people it, that you're talking to? What did you say? Are uh, these are these whites that you're talking to, white people? Yeah, I, I, I have only spoken with white people. Okay, and white friends. So they're the ones who are who are saying it does exist, or one was thinking about it, and one got really mad. Those are all whites. Is that correct? Yeah, they're all white. The woman, the white woman, got mad. Uh, yep. the, mm, the more manly white man, he started to laugh and <laughs> thought it was hilarious. Right. And uh, the more well, I would call him a weak man, he was like, mm, sort of think about it, like, mm, can, it be, can uh-huh. it be real? Yeah. That's cool. So, uh, so yeah, you haven't, it, but you haven't lost funny. any jobs, have you? Walked any. 
Say that again. I'm sorry. The li- uh, I'm sorry. The line. I don't. I don't hear everything. Say it one more time if you ask me. You haven't lost any job, have you, for saying this stuff? No. Good. But I have a pretty good uh, supervisor. Uh, you know, a boss. I have a good boss. Right on. Cool, man. Yeah, Appreciate that. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hear that Sweden is is really bad because like they can't even acknowledge what other people what these other people are doing and coming into their country and acting like it's a mess. That's a shame. Well, you know, um, I have been listening to Yes for more than one year, and it's just very um, last month that I started to speak up more and more. I mean, I was at a place. And in that case, uh, it's like a, a club or, you know, it's an a organization. Well, it should be non-political. But everyone started to speak one day about how awful Trump is. Oh, and I yeah. was like listening to them and thinking, like, if they can say that I hate Trump, then I will say that I love Trump. Did so you? I did that. And, <laughs> and uh, one woman, her mouth is fall down and, like, <laughs> she lost her uh, tongue, uh, lost uh, you couldn't say anything, and right. the man, he was like a, a runaway. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Good job, Samuel. That's nice to hear. So, I mean, you can't just go from one day, like, immediately starting to speak up, but, you know, it has been um, one year, and now I'm just starting to feel like I have to say something. Yeah. You do. It's true. You have to do it the right way, but you definitely are right that you have to. Appreciate that, Samuel. Thank you. Yeah, have a, have a good day. All right, have you too. Day. Take care. Sean, out of Las Vegas, Nevada, first time caller. Sean, how are you? I'm amazing, brother. How are you? Doing fine, thank you. No man is amazing. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> not, not true. <laughs> but uh, um, so I'm basically calling because, well, first off, I want to give you a thank you, first off. And I want to thank you for... Um, really just standing your ground when it comes to these biased callers who call, call in, mostly uh, black people. I'm black myself. Right on. Thank you. You're welcome. Generation uh, Z. Nice. Uh, 23. Yeah. Okay. So, um, cool. I've actually called Jesse uh, two or, uh, like two or three times before. Yeah. So um, that was the first thing I wanted to say. And I wanted to touch up on that uh, stabbing, shooting, one, take the guns away. Uh, I've made multiple points uh, in my life with different debates with people how... Um, this gun thing is, isn't the issue. It's the people with the uh, firearms that are the issue. Yeah. And I've had a, a debate with someone, and they were like, "Hey, you know, you uh, <laughs> you take you, if you take the guns away, uh, this will be better." And I told them, "A crazy person is a crazy person with or without a weapon. I mean, with or without a gun." Yeah. I told them, and you know, in other countries. Um, they took away the guns, and now they're having violent stabbing deaths um, all over the place. And, and now they're trying to ban, you know, different type of styles of knives now. Yeah. And um, I had a reply to that, and they were like, hey, well, I, I would rather them, you know, have the knives than the guns. Right. And I, I'm thinking to myself, like, crazy is crazy. Whether they have a knife or a gun, just like uh, Jesse uh, Redden, or was it you or Jesse Redden that um, during Jesse's hour about, the dude who wanted to run around with a machete, killing as many folks as, as he could. Yeah. You know, so it's like, yeah, it's an evil regardless of uh, what weapon it is. And I felt like during that debate, uh, the people were trying to pick between two evils or which one you rather have. Like, right. You know, crazy is crazy. Evil is evil. You know, you hurt somebody, you hurt someone. That's you know? exactly right, man. They don't believe that they can overcome evil. They just think, oh, you just have to live with it. All these people are going crazy, and we don't know why. They're pretending that they don't know why. But because they don't believe in... They don't believe in God. They don't believe in family. So they don't support... It's exactly that. Yeah, they don't support... It's them being moralist. Lack of morality. Yeah. Because, like, uh, like the the crime exploded after the 60s, right? Or amid the 60s, in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Even yeah. to today, it's still exploded compared to the 50s. And yeah, because, you can't just blame that on the large population and, and so-called poor people being in a heavily populated area. You can't just blame it on it that. Isn't. But they just it blame it on that. They just say, oh, it poverty causes crime, when 
that just means that they're atheists in reality. They're communist type yeah. atheists. It, it's, it's like Jesse said, it's a lack of morality. It's yeah. Moral, it's, uh, it's the moral less people. Yep. So uh, that, leads, that leads me to my next point, which was a Facebook uh, post a uh, friend of mine posted. Okay. And it was, what well, his question was, uh, why do you, why do black people hate each other or something along that, those lines? Stay close so, to your phone, um, Sean. Stay close to your phone. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So he said, um, why are black people, why do black people hate each other? Yeah. And so I commented on that. And I said, because most blacks are without morals, a bunch of more less beings yep. and emotional black men, beta males with no value, mass murderers who blame others for their problems. Yeah. So, of course, I got backlash because uh, <laughs> I'm black. And um, guys were telling me that that comment was very ignorant. And I told him that the truth <laughs> hurt. Right. And he goes, are you black? Because I don't think so. You know, how could you talk about your kind this way? And I was like, <laughs> I said, LOL, my kind? And I replied to him with, with all facts. I said, um... I say, you're kind. I'm not afraid to tell the truth. 33% of black babies are born out of well. I gave them most of the pieces that uh, Jesse would give. Of course, I had to look it up myself. Yeah. I said, uh, that's lack of morals. Black people kill more of their own kind than any other race in America. Yep. I was like, our own brothers. By a factor of like four or six or more. It's crazy. It's And it's by a factor of four or six or more that blacks yes, are killing yes. one another. And, and, this, and that is what we call mass shooting is mass murder. Yeah, you know, or serial, or serial killers, but we're not, but we're, but we're not going to take responsibility. Right? right. So, they just blame it on gangs. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. But it's lack of morality. It's not. Yep. It's not yeah. So, and I, I could tell you with um, our own brothers, that's who you are, those are murderers. Uh, black men getting emotional like women and yeah. acting on those emotions in such way. I say that's a beta male. A man thinks logically. Blacks are quick to point out uh, how they're being put down or kept down by the system or white supremacy or racism, none of which is true. I said, I love all people, but my kind, in air quotes, need to stand up and take responsibility. And I did not get a reply after that. And that was uh, 22 (laughs) hours ago. Wow, that's nice, Sean. Yeah, I've had one person uh, heart to two comments and uh, things of that nature, but I'm, what, what I'm trying to do is really tell everybody, because uh, I'm Generation Z, I'm not a millennial, I'm not a Generation Y, baby boomer, none of these, none of these things. And I've, I've been taught the, the hate gr- growing up, that it's the white person that keeps me down. My mother told me I had two strikes against me when wow. I was growing up. She would always mention this one was I was black and the other that was male. So I automatically <laughs> thought, like, you know, if I did something else, I was my third strike. So it kind of puts you in this mentality where you live in a in a bubble where you feel like you can't really do much, but that is a lie. You know, that's so, interesting it, that she said that being male is a count against you. Because yeah, that's exactly. that's kind of true in society, but that's not a mindset that we should take on as males. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you know what, for the longest time, I, I lived with the identity of that because, you know, it's like, we, we, it's like Jesse said before, you overcome the mothers. You are of your mother. So yeah. I, I, I lived through that identity that she gave me. But then, like I told Jesse, it was a white man who introduced me to his show. And it was a white man, before I even started listening to Jesse, who gave me the realization that you have been lied to. You know, everything yeah. that I thought was the truth, it was, it was, it was wrong. It's supposed to hear it from somebody else before I actually heard it from Jesse and before I heard you because after Jesse show, I used to just, you know, cut the show off then listen to the hate report. But one day I was like, you know what? Listen to what he has to say. And nice. I started listening to what you had to say, the people who called you, your standpoint. But like, he's the same, you, you got the same standpoint as Jesse, except you're a white man who stands up to another black person who, who wants to speak lies. And I listened to them. As a 23-year-old young man, I listened to these older gentlemen, older uh, black dudes, and it sounds crazy. Even the women who call and... and and they sound they sound like moralist people, people who 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 don't see the right from wrong, good and evil in this world, and, and they can't accept responsibility for the tragedies that their own kind, air quotes, have caused. Right, Sean. Did you know before anybody told you that something was wrong with all this? 
I'm sorry? Did you know before any white people told you or anybody told you that something was wrong with everything, with the things that you were taught or, or that people were repeating? It, you know what? You know what, James? I, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, so no one had to tell me. It was something yeah. within myself as I got older, and I wanted more for myself. And it's like Jesse say, everything is within yourself. You just have to look, and it'll be revealed. Yeah. Literally, that's how it was. I was I, I was always asking myself, what is a man, what is it like, how a man acts, what is a man supposed to do? That's nice. And things of, and how are these, like, how are my nature, how, how is my nature of being a black man affecting me? And I used to literally walk around like, I'm pro-black, you know, African <laughs> this, all that thing, you know, but I, I shook all of that. So no, no, like no one has to come to me and tell me, but once I did hear it, it was like, yeah, you, you already knew this, but it was a confirmation or something that you already knew, you know? All right, Sean. So it, it, was, it was a feeling of within. So I was like, yeah, something is wrong. Because I felt like I was living my life in a way where I needed to find myself. And the way that I was living it was like pro-black, blaming right. this person for that, blaming that person for that. But I had to think about it. What, what white person told me that I couldn't own my own business? Yeah, exactly. What, Sean, what, what I appreciate it, it, man. Was, I gotta, I gotta move on, but thank you for the call. That's oh, cool. Oh, and congratulations yeah, on waking I'll, I'll up. I'm calling you again, brother. All right, take care, man. All right, brother. You, you take, you take it easy. All right, I got some more great callers lined up for you. Let me go ahead and just get into them, because a lot of you guys want to talk about this Indigenous Peoples Day slash Columbus Day, and I will get to you. So hang tight, Myron, out of North Carolina. I think it's Myron actually. First time caller. Yeah. How are you doing, Myron? I'm doing good. How you doing, James? Doing fine, thank you. Yeah, did you enjoy that last call? Yeah, I did. Did you? Okay. I, uh, well, not really, but he liked to talk too much, but it was cool. Well, yeah, I mean, he's young and he's excited about what he's what he's discovering and his experiences. I I wanted to let get, let him get it off his chest because you have to. No, that, that, people that are people are waking. Thing. How old are you, Myron? Uh, 44. Okay. Let me ask you a question. I just want to ask you a question. Okay. Do you feel, and, and just, I, I don't know if we can be honest. I just want to ask you this. I think you're a cool guy, but I just want to ask, do you think that the white race is the greatest race? I am just want to know that from you. No. I don't have an opinion about any of them. No, they're the small, we're the smallest race. <laughs> we're no, something I like 10%. You, <laughs> no, not the smallest. I want to ask you, do you think they are the greatest? Oh, qualitatively, not quantitatively? Um, yeah. No, I don't think Honestly. so. I don't know. Well, that was pretty I don't really th that you said that. Yeah, I don't really think in that term. Maybe I should. Maybe I should think in that term more, but... Yeah, you could. I mean, it's yeah. your option to do. My whole point is... Yeah. I, I, with you and Jesse, I mean, y'all show sure are very entertaining. Don't get me wrong. Appreciate but it. I, I want to know exactly why do you all constantly put people down? That That is my whole point. Why well, I mean. Down? And I understand. <laughs> wait, wait, James. I'm sorry. I know okay. it's a show, man, and you got a good show. No, go for it. But my whole thing is, is why do you put people down? It's like, I don't know if it's you getting entertainment out of it, and I'm not quite sure if you trying to put the truth out there, but it seems like you get enjoyment out of putting different people down because we all different. We got to realize that. I don't care if you're black, white, whatever color you are. We are different. We all made different. We are different people, and we all supposed to believe in God, but if you don't believe in God, God is still God. That's not going to change the fact right. of what decisions you make. So I'm trying to figure out a lot of times I listen at you all show, and I'm like, some of this stuff y'all spread is is a few of a size. It, it's like you spreading hate. But it's, I just want your opinion on that. I don't think that it's actually spreading hate. I mean, people are hateful people no matter what. And if I have any hatred in my heart, it's like my issue. And the stuff that I repeat is towards, it's like how I see things. It's just... Okay, uh, well, let me ask you this. Do you have hate in your heart? Yeah, I would say so. You do? Mm-hmm. You know what? How about you? I respect about you. No, I'm I'm gonna respect this about you. All right. And I never knew this till I talked to you. At least you can tell the truth. Because a lot of times I listen to Jesse say, "Oh, I don't have no hate." No, I, I believe you. You don't believe Jesse when he says that. 
No. Why not? No. And you know why? And yeah. I'm going to tell you this. And I know why not. I'm going to tell you this. You, Nick, and Jewels work with him. You uh-huh. all see a side of him that we don't see. Yeah. Like you can hide it on the radio, but in your mind right now, you know what the truth is. I know you that Jesse. I know that Jesse's, know know that Jesse's telling the truth. Jesse has these like these. He <laughs> hey, told he told the story of. It, hey, hold on, listen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a quick story. You a Christian? Ahead. You a Christian? Yes. yes you yes, heard of yes. the you heard of the woman at the well that Jesus met, and he like. Told her her yeah, whole life. Jesus told her about the men that she was with was not her husband either. Yeah. yeah, so I see Jesse behind the scenes a lot. Like, I sometimes walk with him, like, to the bank or whatever. And he's constantly have, or, you know, he's constantly having these woman, out, woman at the well moments where he's just speaking his mind, being real. And people are waking up, even right before his eyes. Just off of a regular conversation, he's like in a hurry to get to the bank, but the security mm-hmm. guard stops him and asks him at the about the Children of the Lie t-shirt that he's wearing. And he wakes people up. He told the story in church yesterday. So, yeah, I see Jesse behind the scenes, and he's even more real behind the scenes than he is on the radio, if anything. So, so he's living me, it. You don't, you don't see Jesse past hurt is what's causing him. To act no, that's that's dumb fake psychologist uh, um, speculation. You call that you call that dumb. Yeah, when if you gonna if you're gonna say that's his past hurt, or like T from Alabama who called my show last week. Thank you, T, saying you hate your mother, Jesse. <laughs> when Jesse's pointing out all of you guys hate your mother, that's why you're blind. That's why you don't see what so, he's saying. So him telling others that they hate their mother. Yeah, that's not dumb. No, he can he can See, tell what you playing. Now you playing the fence. Which one is it? Huh? If it's stupid, it's stupid. Do you hate your mother? Uh, I probably do. I mean, I uh, I uh, wow. told her I was wrong, but I think I I don't think it, I forgave her from my heart. So that's probably wow. part of it. You hate your father too. Uh, you know, I kind mean, of I kind of had it. I had or maybe slash have a little bit of judgment towards him. A little bit of weakness, and, you know, I kind of inherited do, that in a sense. Do you so, believe in God? I believe that God is, exists kind of like the, sa- the demons do <laughs> and do tremble. do you believe in him? I don't think that I believe in God, no. Okay, then. That explains a Yeah, lot. because, I mean, because if I, I think if I really believed in him, I would have overcome a lot of stuff. And So when Jesse yeah. is talking about God... Uh huh. You really don't side with him on that. I do. I think that he's telling the truth. It's just, just because you if hear you stuff and agree with it, doesn't mean that you're actually living I it. Agree. Though. I I I really like you, man. At least you're telling the truth. Yeah. My, it's hard for me to sit there and listen that you say, I believe Jesse telling the truth when you don't believe in everything that Jesse stands for, which I don't. Believe but you in can't say that I don't I believe in it. Truth. It's just that it's just that um, there's a lot of people that agree with. The good side of good, but they just can't live it. So, so are you one of the ones that's saying that it's hard for you to live it? Yeah. <laughs> are you being honest? I don't know if you're laughing or joking. But I'm laughing. I'm laughing because it's kind of sounds so beta to say that. But anyways, yeah, gotta be what I am. Anyways, Myron, I gotta I right. gotta keep moving. Yeah, keep it good, man. All right, you too. Take care. All right. I. Z- Oh, man. Isaiah, hang on. Let me get quickly to John out of New Jersey. John, how are you? I'm doing good, H. How's it going? Going fine. Thank you. Nice to hear from you. I just wanted to say that your show is amazing, H. Appreciate that. Thanks, man. Hey, thank you. All right. Take care, John. Thank you, dude. I said, dude. (laughs) Let me get to Isaiah out of Kansas. He's been waiting a while. Isaiah. Am I pronouncing your name right? You sure are, and it's spelled just like the Bible. How you doing, Hey? Doing fine, thank you. The Hake Report. Anyways, I just <laughs> called and I said uh, a Native American from Can- a pot smoking Native American from Kansas. You are a pot smoking Native American <laughs> from Kansas. Are you full blooded? No, I'm just joking. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm almost, almost, almost uh, full blooded. Uh, but here's the, here's the point I wanted to. So make. you are. So you are. What do you call yourself? Do you call yourself 
American Indian? Do you call yourself Native American? Do you call yourself indigenous? Or do you call yourself the tribe that you're part of? Uh, all of the above, I guess. Oh, okay, nice. I don't take offense to one. Um, I grew up both with Christianity and the, uh, the cultural side of it. Okay. Uh, so cultural side of the Indian stuff. Of it. Which, tri yeah. which tribe, if you don't mind my asking, are you? Uh, yeah, this is the point I wanted to make, is that children of the lie have been here since the beginning. Yeah. Since the fall, and even in tribes. And what I wanted to say was that uh, this, this paradise that, that a lot of Natives like to paint, preferably the children that are still angry at the parents. And, you know, yeah. uh, how, how, can, uh, how can a people, or let alone an individual, overcome the nature of their mother if they still have a 100-plus-year-old resentment? I don't... And that's what a lot of, uh, oh. a lot, majority of our young men suffer with. I see what you're saying. But that's, but, I'll tell you, I'll tell you something, Isaiah. This is just like what the blacks go through, and actually even, like, probably the whites now are starting to catch this, this disease of, of being angry about stuff that happened before they were born, right? So, like, yeah. there's, there's some of these things that, some of, some of it was just, some of it was unjust that happened. There's injustices that every race has gone through. One injustice yeah. that happened to whites was um, the 1965 Immigration Act, right? That was one injustice, yeah. where they brought in all these enemies of America who don't believe in actual freedom of speech or freedom to own and carry guns and stuff. So yeah. whites, whites got, are catching that disease of anger about that stuff too. But in reality, I, I think Jesse is on to something when he, when he tells the blacks, for example, that their, their issue is not slavery or Jim Crow or redlining and all that supposed discrimination that came, went on, lynchings and all that. Their anger is d more direct only with their mothers and fathers they are growing up, their mothers and grandmothers, whatever. It's just the immediate family. If they overcome that, then they'll overcome the past stuff, too. They'll see how to, yeah, how to overcome exactly. that. Exactly. But you didn't answer... Can feel that in one... But, oh, the point I wanted to make... But hold that. on, Isaiah. I'm, I'm sorry. This probably doesn't matter at all. But, it, but it's, I'm too curious... Not to reiterate my question, which tribe, sure. which Indian tribe were you, or are you? Uh, Ogallala Lakota from, uh, my dad is from Pine Ridge, uh, South Dakota. It's like a third world country here in America. Spell it. Spe real, real socialism at work. Oh, really? So spell the name yeah. of that tribe. O-G-L-A-L-A, -L -A -L -A, Lakota, Sioux. Okay. Interesting. You've seen Dance with the Wolves? That's oh, it's from the it's it's a it's like a subset of the Sioux tribe. Yeah, it's okay. part of the uh, seven fires of the uh, the, the uh, Western Sioux tribe. Yeah. Okay. Are there a lot of people committing suicide in your? Oh yeah. Area. Oh yeah, it's an epidemic. Yeah. It is an epidemic, mm -hmm. and uh, one thing that I, one point I want to make about the children of the lie have been yeah. here forever because. Even my own relatives, you know, 100 years ago that fought the whites here on this, uh, 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 what would now be called United States of America, they uh, fought them, the 7th Calvary, and they beat them. Wow. And only then the Blue Clouds, the uh, Arapahoes, and the uh, Northern Cheyenne fought them. But uh, there were other tribes that could have helped. But what was the problem then was the bureaucratic people for the land grabs and such that wanted to keep pushing westward. Yeah. And so what I want to say is there were people that were with them to stand up and defend themselves, certain tribes, and certain people that were against them. You know, that were nice, <laughs> <laughs> but ended up being put on reservation. So you have a right to defend yourself. That's part of, I mean, that's part of the belief system from a long time ago. Yep. And actually the Constitution is uh, written Indian law, which Ben Franklin got it from the uh, Iroquois Confederacy. That's my mom's side. Wow. Interesting. And one one point I wanted to make for Jesse about, this is my funny, this is my fun. He uh -huh. always say, natives are smoking pot! <laughs> <laughs> so what they put in those pipes, you know, when they sign treaties and they smoke with the whites and, yes. you know, make peace with them and whatnot, that's what that signifies. So that, that uh, the, uh, 
uh, treaties, when they signed the treaties and also the uh, the uh, Constitution. So when they signed that, they probably smoked a pipe together to stick a pipe piece. Yeah. And what that means is that they, they have a, a commitment, it's like a handshake, but like a spiritual handshake. And what is in that is it's a tobacco, and it's a form of tobacco that comes from red willow bark. And what it does is it cleanses the blood. Wow. Interesting. And it's not its not like tobacco that you buy at the store. It's not that you harvest it at fall, and you and you dry it out, and you and the, put it in there. And anyways, yep, that's the connection. Okay. So... <laughs> So it wasn't pot in the peace pipe. <laughs> no, it was red willow bark. Red willow bark and tobacco? No, that just call that tobacco. Okay, they okay. I got you. Interesting, Isaiah, and it cleans the blood. It's amazing. <laughs> it does. It cleanses the blood. Right on, That's what man. It does for the spirit. Well, I appreciate well, the contribution, Isaiah. You celebrating Columbus Day? Uh, I have no problem against it. I really don't celebrate all the holidays. Yeah. I really don't get into, uh, much, you know, I'll, I'll do I understand. like, uh, Halloween for my daughter and whatnot, but, uh, as far as the, uh, ch- the children of a lot, I know that all this stuff is just propagated to play off the emotions of people right. that are uh, spiritually weak, so. Yep. I, you know, I don't, I don't fall for it. I don't trip uh, over it, and, uh, yeah, that's just the way I feel about it. Makes sense, Isaiah. I appreciate that. All right. Hey, have a good one. All right. You too. Take care. All right. Adios. Bye. Let me quickly, before I get to uh, Charles and T and others, let me just quickly tell you about Chelsea Clinton. So I saw this Drudge headline, and it's actually a Daily Mail headline. I do have it in the folder. Um, Chelsea Clinton emphatically states that a person with a beard and a penis can identify as a woman, so you know she's evil. Daily Mail says, um, Chelsea said absolutely that a man can identify as a woman. Maybe maybe they didn't all drag over in time or something, Joelle. Oh, there it is. Yeah, awkward. So she said absolutely, while the mother Hillary, she, they put mom, because they're liberals, Hillary shuffles and looks conflicted as she blames generational differences for not being, for her not being as open to so-called trans rights. And in an, this was in an interview with the Sunday Tr- Times. Journalist Decca Eitkenhead asked the Clintons, Chelsea and Hillary, about transgender self-identification. Chelsea Clinton replied yes emphatically when asked if someone with a beard and, and the male private part can ever be a woman. But Hillary said, quote, It's going to take a lot more time and effort to understand what it means to be a, a defining yourself differently. That means she's really not for it, <laughs> but she's trying to pretending to try to be open-minded. Eichenhead said Hillary became uneasy when the question was asked, while Chelsea shot a furious stare at the journalist as her mother answered. Hillary added, quote, It's a very big generational discussion. Because this is not something I grew up with or ever saw. Beta Hillary! Just thought I would share that with you. Um, yeah, so, what a mess, that family. Charles, out of St. Louis, Missouri. Charles, how are you? Hello, Pete. Hey, are you on speakerphone? Come off of it if you are. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, you're not coming in through totally clearly. I'll put you on hold and go to T. Uh, Nick, fix his phone for me, please. T, out of Alabama, how are you doing? T, hold on, T. He's not ready either. Mays, my favorite caller out of Dayton, Ohio. Happy Columbus Day, Mays. Whatever day you call it, James. I don't do holidays. <laughs> you don't? So, uh, you're not. Are you, um, are you, what are you again? Are you Jewish me? or are you, um... I'm a human being. No. It does not have to do what man say do. That's a man's day. You believe in the Ten Commandments? Only say celebrate birthdays. So do you believe in dr- blood transfusions? Do I believe in what? Blood transfusions? Sure, why? why I was just I? curious because you kind of sound like a Jehovah's Witness or one of those people. You're going to make me a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> I'm not going to make I, you one. I've, I've, I, I'm just trying to clarify. Enough, I'm 
I'm not a person that I'm afraid, that's afraid of things. All I right. I go to anybody's church, but I want to know what about the good news bearer. bearer. You okay. Know, like, you want to be spreading good news? Who's this? Uh, the Christian people. Okay. I God bless you and all these different things. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Where are they at? Where are they? No, it's where are they? Like, well, it's not where are they at. at. Yes. That's incorrect. Where are they at? You're too, you're too... <laughs> You're too it's old to be saying, where are they at? That's a Gen X thing. Gen- I, I was finishing. That okay. Bible go-to guy, since he calls himself the Bible go-to guy, yeah. what is the good news that he bears? Never. <laughs> That's in a matter of opinion. He <laughs> said it was good. It? He said Columbus Day is actually a good thing. So that? that's good news. Bible go-to really? guy. Okay, for those that celebrate, I guess it is. Yeah. And with Bible go-to guy, he's a priest of Christian. I was wondering where is the good news that he bears. Because when it comes to certain things, he act like he's never, his people... For his age, he's participated in some of those things that he tries to ignore. What you talking well, about? He should be out telling people. Of what color, you talking about, Mace? Don't do. Let me finish, James. Uh-huh. He should be. Don't do what we did. Because we're we? gonna make you look bad in history one day, like it's making what, us and we want what, to deny it. What that's in what your Bible mind? To, that should be saying. What in your mind did Bible go to guy participate in? Uh, a whole lot of stuff. He probably won't tell you. He won't be honest. Yeah, but you're just saying probably now. Spitting so, on people and doing all kinds of stuff. Spitting? Like you the think, ones want to do now, but they can't. I mean, <laughs> people won't stand back and let them do it. Do you think the Bible goes to you guys spit on people? He probably did. He was, he, was, <laughs> he, was not, he was not gracious to people when he was growing up. He was not gracious oh, to people? And he still got it in him. No, he wasn't. He was not gracious to people growing no, up? No, he wasn't. He so grew he up. He should go out and tell people, don't do what we did because we weren't going to jail because we did it. <laughs> and he should go out and tell people that. And he'll make a better thing than sitting discussing welfare because welfare was not meant for black people or no people of color. It was dumb That's... for people like him, and he knows. It. You said dumb See, people like hurt. him. The truth hurts. Did you say dumb I people like him? Excuse me. You said dumb people like him. I didn't say dumb. I oh, okay. People like him. Oh, I see. But how are you yeah, going to so make so that old. assumption that just because he's older than us? Because he still got, he still has it in him. Because if you come, he has what in him? him? Has spit in him? Everybody has spit in them. In his heart. <laughs> huh? <laughs> has what in their heart? <laughs> and he bears no good news. And he's supposed to be the Bible. He has that. he has what in his heart? Bigotry. Bigotry. Yes. How are you gonna? You're the one who's a bigot because you're calling him a bigot just for having no, a white I think opinion. He has it in his heart. You see, I I'm not afraid of. You're just calling him that because he's white and has a white everybody. opinion. I'm not afraid of nothing. That's, his That's a double negative. That means you're afraid no, of not, something. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not negative. I'm just telling you what kind of person I am. I tell you the truth. Bob go to you to tell you a lie and, 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 Man. and it happen. So when I hear him come up and say that we did this in history and we did that in history, and please don't do what we did. And Maze, and Maze, your, your name is spelled M A Z E, correct? M A Z E? Okay. So what do copycats do? It makes sense. Okay. They do what they see other people do, right? Huh? They copy it and do what they see other people do. Copycat right? criminals, yeah. Yeah, so when you see criminals, you tell Bible Code, you guys don't complain about the criminals, just tell them don't do what we did. That's Caucasian. <laughs> Bible Go To guy, guy is not we. <laughs> huh? Bible Go To guy did well, not I'm spit on anybody. Like, he did not spit on anybody. Like he wasn't, he didn't grow up in the South, I don't okay. think. Maybe the you Southwest or something. To be that way. What are you talking about? You're just assuming that he, that he spit on somebody just because he's white and old. Shame on you. No, it's, it's, Shame it's, it's, on it's vocabulary. It's, you. It's, 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 James, the thing huh? that he uses how he feels, and it comes out of his heart. And he calls himself the Bible go-to guy with no good news. <laughs> so I'm saying, tell him the thing That's about crazy. what he did when he was growing up. Good news. He need to come I, up with I told you you hate white people. You don't like them you because mean, Jesse, you, you, you think, did you think Jesse spit on people? Do you think Jesse spit on people growing up? No, Jesse didn't. Jesse got spit on. Now, how he then how people? come? Then how come he says the same because thing Baba Gotu guy says, but he didn't spit on age. people? Hmm? He says the same thing Baba Gotu guy says, but he doesn't no, he does spit not. on people. <laughs> he he spits not. on this he screen right here. It <laughs> no, it's clean. All right, Maze, I gotta go. Yeah, but that's one. that's wrong. You better. That's all I want him to do when he comes that's, up screaming and trying to challenge people. That's, that's gossip. That's slander. Like the like the black face stuff. Bobby, go to guy could could sue you, but unfortunately, the liberal judges will throw it out. Yeah, he because you just slandered him, you defamed him. You falsely accused him. You falsely accused him of spitting on people. I've been listening to him for years and years and years. I know. All right, gotta go. You consider yourself the Bible go to guy. Come with some good news. All right, you too, man. That's crazy. Anyway, let me get back to Charles. 
out of St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks for holding, Charles. And T, I will get back to you. Hang on. Charles. Hey, check on hey, T. Make sure he's there and ready. Okay, Charles, huh? what's up? Hey, what's happening, Hank? Not much. I'm going to comment on Sean. Oh, okay. Sean from yeah. uh, Nevada or Arizona or somewhere. Yeah, the 23-year-old dude. Nah, the one who woke up out of his slumber, unlike y'all. Anyways. No, I'm kidding. You kind of woke up, but you called me bigoted earlier, didn't you? You are bigoted. But, but didn't okay. you say that you like me? I do like you. All right, cool. The fact that you're a bigot doesn't mean that I don't like you, Hank. The, then the if blacks are not going to like you because you're embracing you're anti-blackness. Black. Huh? Pardon me? You're, the blacks, the black intellectuals are not going to like you because you're embracing anti-blackness. No, not really. Most good. Of my uh, yeah, because I'm really good friends of white people. So all right. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pro-black. <laughs> you Anyways. are not pro-black. Yeah, I am. You are you are most definitely pro-European. <laughs> that is pro-black. Pro-European is pro-black. <laughs> Actually, I'm, a, I'm more pro-America, because European is going down the tubes. Y- y'all in Europe, you can fight it out for yourselves. I'm glad that do, Sam from Sweden is fighting it out. You do know that when you say white out. people, huh? you do know when you say white people, you are actually referring to European. No, I'm referring to the whites in America. People of very little melanin. Yeah. White people. But very much IQ. Which come from Europe. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, yeah. Anyways, go on. Okay. What do you want to say about anyway, Sam, you old well, complainers? I, well, I don't disagree with what the young man said. All right. Nice. But he wants, for some odd reason, to believe he's unique. No, how are you going to assume that? Your ASSUM Because he, himming. No, he thinks he's unique in the finding that he found. He never, he never, he never lot, indicated. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Feel exactly the way that he does. All right, that's fine. But he's he's himself, yeah, and that's he, all he, he has to go most. on. See, what makes he, you think no, that he, he thinks went, that he's unique? He, you're judging. Because he went to the ju- okay. You <laughs> all right? Go go for it. Go for it. What makes you think he thinks because, he's unique? Because <laughs> he's he takes Jesse's point of view that most black people are. Ignorant, unlawful, ungodly people. Mm hmm. Okay. So that makes him but think, that he, makes you think that he thinks on. that he's unique? He thinks he's unique. No, how, but how? Because he, he thinks he's unique among black people. Okay. And I say, well, if I feel this way, I'm sure there's a lot of black people that feel this way. But you're putting words in his mouth and in his heart. You don't know what he's thinking. He never indicated uh, uh, to me. I didn't get any indication that he thinks he's unique. No, you just loved it because he was... He no, was no, 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 no. I'm not saying... It's not whether I loved it or hated it. It's because he didn't indicate that he thought that he was unique. That's silly. But the he, truth I'll of tell the you, matter, I'll tell you, he knows that he's... He, know, he knows he's the minority amongst blacks because the only Why people that he know are, are anti... Huh? Because why does it make him a minority among blacks? Because all the people attacked him, all the blacks attacked him for saying the truth. Well, I'm not attacking him. I'm no, just I know, trying but... to let this young man know he's not unique. Right on. There's all right, but I don't I don't think that he thinks exactly that. Exactly the way that he does. Right on, but I don't think that he thinks that. I don't know where you're getting that. Okay, what you and Jesse and the Bible guy Bible go to guy to stop saying that's Bible go to guy to you. Most black people. That's you Mr. Go- Bible go to guy to you. Pardon me? I said that's Mr. Bible go to guy to you. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't Whoa, don't say that. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> he, <laughs> he said he ain't, he ain't anyways. A Christian. And he ain't no Bible go-to guy. That's a double uh, negative. That means he is Bible go-to guy. If he ain't no Bible go-to guy, then he is a Bible go-to guy. And he uses Jesus' Uh, word and God's scripture to spread bigotry. That's dumb. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta get to the next caller before my show ends, Charles. But thanks for contributing. I'm sure Sean got the message. I I do love you, James, and I Uh, like you. But you are a bigot and you are prejudiced. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. All right. All right. Take care. 
T out of Alabama. How are you, T? Yeah, what's up, Jay? Hey, not much. Yeah, I guess your boy done banned me from his show, man. You know, y'all won't even ask him a call. My boy so, done banned you from the show? <laughs> yeah, I think so, man. Which one, Nick? Yeah, I truly, Which one's my yeah, boy? Yes, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. No. Nah. Nuh-uh. Yeah, yeah. No. I think so, man. No, I Jesse think loves so. you. I think when he, see, when he realizes my number's from me, he just hang up. Oh, please, man. That's not true. Yeah. You're You're a conspiracy yeah. theorist. You're just no, like the alt right when they it's think, ah, oh, Jesse's paid by yeah, the Jews. Yeah. Now, let me say this, man. Cause I know you got limited time. All right, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry like Jesse, man. Getting off you're just like the whites. Yeah. They hate the Jews. So what? I said you're so just what? like the whites. They hate the Jews. They make up stuff. And so you're making up stuff about Jesse that you don't know. Okay. Yeah, so you're just like them. Okay, all right. You're just like the alt right. Jack, Jack, <laughs> alt retards. Hey, trained, all right, go for hey, it. You know what? Jesse all right, all right. has trained you guys well. Thank you, man. You know, Thank the, you. <laughs> y'all, y'all, the artists of deception, you know. All right, I'll anyway, stop babbling. Uh, Shat. So what? Shaffy Turner says James is a horrible babbling host. I'm sorry, Shaffy. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, he is, man. He is. Jay, you know. All right. I, I learned this by Jesse. He hates, you know, he can't stand when somebody tries to get the truth out of him. He <laughs> likes to deflect from the truth. Okay. And uh, I see he's teaching blah, you guys blah, blah, that also. You know, he deflates from the truth. Well, any time somebody asks him a story that question, he sort of tries to go to something else and try to get you off that subject. Because he's interested in things that are real, not fake stuff. No, no, like the, no, he doesn't. He yes, said, he is. Right. He's know, interested in stuff that affects people's Jeff. lives. You know, I know you can't be truthful about Jets because, you know, he is your boss. And there you go. There you go lying, lying again. Well, there you go right. making up stuff. Like I said, man. You hate your mother, like, T. You learn from them. I see that. You learn so, like, give me, give me, a, be, can you be more specific? Because you haven't, you've just made accusations okay, without well, any I, proof or evidence. Ask, let me ask you this. When folks ask Jesse to prove something in the Bible, uh-huh. right, to prove, like, where it says, you know, forgive your, your mother and then go back to your father, whatever that stupid nonsense you love to talk. <laughs> when folks say, where's it in the Bible? You know, he can't tell. Because he, you know, he but, but he cites the, he cites stuff that's in the Bible. If you knew the Bible, then you would know yeah. that he's actually biblical in his message. Man, Jesse is an agent of Satan. Ain't no, no you, my you mind. are. When I look at Jesse online, man, you look you look at a real lonely old man. That's trying <laughs> he's to look describing long. himself. Y'all done fooled Tea. Jesse to think his beard looks nice on him. He's sitting there putting color in, <laughs> in his beard to, you know, to keep T, the gray from T, showing. T, you're getting, you're getting kind of low. Yeah. That's pretty low of you, T. No, no that ain't low. It's That's shallow. Cheap, you are so shallow so, and low and pathetic. And, like and then you act like you're you a Christian like and you know the Bible. You look like a demon. You look like a demon. So, T, look. Look, none of what you just said is true. It's quite clear in the Bible that if yeah. you don't forgive, God you won't forgive you. And that includes your mother. You forgive your mother. And that includes your mother. You you gotta forgive your and mother that in- to go back to it your includes father. your mother. Just because you can't you realize that you, you hate your mother. Your mother to go to the father. That's because you don't know yourself. It says man, the Bible also says to forget, test man. yourself, to see man, whether you be in the faith. So if you don't else. test yourself, yeah. then you won't know that you hate your mother. James. T. <laughs> yes, it's gonna lead you straight to hell, my brother. All right, my brother in okay. Satan. <laughs> We're gonna lead you straight to hell. All right. Thank you for the warning, T. I'm just letting you know. All right. You Jesse let me know. <laughs> and and Jesse's beard. Head. I think you're Jesse jealous of Jesse's beard. Man, that Your be beard's Jesse. probably all patchy. Oh, patchy. Jesse hate women. <laughs> and and I bet you, because I bet you wife. spit on people growing up. You spit on people, T. <laughs> like Maze. Nah, man. You can hear Maze? Nah, that was ridiculous. Kind of Do you agree with me yeah, that that was ridiculous for, like T- for Maze? Wasn't that ridiculous for Maze to assume that about Baba Gucci guy? What, what she said about it. She man. claimed he probably spit on people growing up. He probably do. He tried to do. Uh, it terrible, T. I gotta go, T. Baba Take care. Guy. That's the last person I'll be speaking about the Bible, man. All right. Thank you, T. Take care, guys. We'll see you tomorrow on the Jesse Lee Peterson Show and then the Hake Report. The HakeReport.com slash podcast. Later, will be the podcast will go up. And uh, make sure you're supporting Bond. I do. You should, too. And a lot of you guys are doing that. Thank you. 
All right. Oh, that's rebuildingtheman.com for uh, checking on the update on the building fund. We are going to be moving. We're going to get a new studio. All right. Take care, guys.